Brent just missed one again. Of oh, course, right when I wasn't recording. That was a crazy bite, dude. Was it? This minnow's annihilated right now. All right, here we go. Come on. Holy Maybe they're going to be more aggressive today. There's one right there. Come on. He's coming, but he didn't bite it. Come on. There's another one coming, too. There's two of them. Get a little competition going. Little competition. Oh, yeah. There's two right here. Oh, he's good. Oh, oh, oh. Big marks, I know we got some marks. They're showing up and they are chasing. Got him. There you go, Brent. Come on, man. Got one to put on the ice there? No, just a little guy. <laughs> hey, you start with the little guys, you get some of the bigger guys, right? Go figure, and Brent gets the first fish, of oh. course. We just got out here. He's hammering the bottom. We're not here. Let me see it. Just <laughs> don't, don't throw it away yet. That's a nice little guy. We just haven't had the marks today that we've had in the past year. Go ahead and put them back if you'd like. Or you want to keep that one? Oh, that one. <laughs> Good job, Brent. All right, I got to make a better showing today, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Fish Rain Shane here. Along with my son Brent, we're back out on Lake Pekegama. Last time we were here was a night fishing bite, and uh, Brent kicked my ass. Sorry for the French, but he absolutely did. He crushed the fish. You know, if you're going to lose to somebody, you might as well lose to your son that you taught to fish, right? Um, if you're going to have to lose to somebody. But this guy, he's just a fishy dude. He, he has a feel for it, and, uh, you know, I there's nobody I'd rather get beat by than this guy, that's for sure. So... I see one coming up towards my uh, my bait, actually. So I'm gonna, yeah. Holy cow! What's happening, Brent? I might have to set a hook here in a second, right on my intro. You can see it's those red marks there. I know it's flashing a lot on the camera. I wish you could see it better, but there's there's red marks. There's a red mark that's my bait, and then down below it, there's a red mark that's a fish, and it's kind of raising up towards my bait. Oh, there's another one right above it too. Listen, guys, I gotta get fishing. So that mark just brought the uh, just brought the music. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing now. Let's go get that son of a gun. Um, this feels weird. He's just not. You're not getting me enough fish there, fish. Get back down there. I'm kidding. On that, on that plastic they bit right yeah. away. Okay, what color did you put on? White. White? Got him. Got him. Oh, heavy fish. Heavy fish, dude. Heavy okay, fish. okay. Get him up through. Work him up nicely. Oh. Just work him up nicely. Oh you got him. God. Wow! Whoa! That is awesome! Nice Freaking fish, crushed Brad. It. First one to go on the ice. You are crushing it. Look at that, you guys. That is a nice, nice fish right there. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to put that on the ice. Get him out there. Um, Am I getting a bite? I got, yeah, I got fish right on me. Oh, I have fish right on me too. Hold on. I'm just going to put it back here. For okay, now. sounds good. You guys, in Minnesota, we can have two lines during the winter, which is nice. So Brent and I have chosen today to go one line uh, as a pole in our hand, of course, fishing for panfish. And then we've got tip-ups, two of them out there, a uh, little ways away from the shack in about, what, eight feet and 11 feet of water. Yeah. And uh, so we're hoping to get some, some action out there from some bigger fish. That'd be great. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. You guys, this is one of my biggest pet peeves right here is having to clear out a jig eye hole just to be able to use the jig. That's ridiculous. Like manufacturers can do it so they don't have paint all over the eye hole. And they, a lot of them are just lazy and choose not to do that. It sucks. It sucks for fishermen. Any of you jig makers out there that are listening, please take note. We hate this. Come on, bite it. Oh, got him. Nice bite. Nice fight. Feels like a decent fish. Yeah, it's a pig. Oh, 
boy did they show up i told you they were here Woo! fish brain shane on the board ladies and gentlemen what do you think huh that one's going on the ice i'm gonna just celebrate that one all the way to the bank brother check him out beautiful white crappie probably the best crappie we've caught in days right yeah best one in days man what a chunk man going out on the ice i'm gonna put him on my side oh. and we're gonna see who has you know more at the end of the day because i think i'm starting to figure this out a little bit watch out there youngin we've had marks after marks on the vexlar here come up to our bait look at it and go away one's doing it right now and um it we've changed baits we've changed tactics we've changed sizes of baits we've uh, changed colors of jigs types of jigs um, we haven't gone to a plain hook or anything like that yet but i know there's a lot of experienced ice fishermen watching right now and you might be even yelling at the screen or you have some type of advice for me i'd love that advice i got one that just did it just now while we're talking there's a fish on me right now and you know what he did he just came up got with like looked right at the bait and then dropped back down why does that happen what do you guys do to combat that he's coming back a little fast now let's see what he's doing are you gonna bite it this time buddy is it just timing do you just have to wait till they're ready to bite i mean it's really not your fault or what do you guys do when the bite is neutral like this on the ice i want i want you guys to comment Leave some comments, leave some advice for people because I was just saying like, I didn't have a dad, so I didn't have anybody to teach me to do this stuff. And whether you had a dad or not, maybe your dad didn't ice fish, but you, I know through trial and error have come across this and have found ways to get these fish to bite. How can you do it? Tell me, I put some comments down there. It's not gonna hurt if you tell people your secrets, right? I'll tell you my secrets if you tell me yours. You do. Flag, I'm going. You got it? Woo hoo, thank you. Hopefully it's still. Uh, it's not moving. Well, it's the first flag of the day, but no, nothing. He took it a little, it looks like. Oh yeah, he took it for a ways. He was gone. Look how far it went out. Dude, it's gone. We need another uh, shiner. You want to get one? Holy shit, look at how far he took it. This must have been up for a while. that one there feels like a small one it's fun to get out of the shack for a little while regardless decent little thing right not too bad put that one back of course I don't know how much of that one you saw but definitely got a fish and out here having some fun i don't do much of this kind of running around chasing the fish so this is kind of new for me but pretty fun we're gonna do this one fish bring jane style let's do the slow-mo release ready all right i'm coming I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming, buddy. Oh, oh. Get him out of there. Get him. What do you got? I got something ripping and drag. Okay, so this might be a northern. Let me get the thing out for you, okay? Mm. Yeah, you just play him. Play him well. Don't break him. Turn your drag a little I if did, you need I did, to. I did. You can do it, buddy. You can get him. Come on. Just take it nice and easy. Come on. 
please. Brent in the tent. Come on. Please. I see him underneath. Where is it? Um, I don't know, dude. Please be a walleye. It actually may please be. Please be a walleye. It actually may be. Calm down. You're okay. Hyper right now. <laughs> this is what we love it's about fishing. It's right a walleye. Here. It's a walleye. All right. Okay. Well, then sorry, just sorry, calm sorry. down. It's a walleye. It's right there. Yep. I see it. Just, no, no, it's, it's a northern. Spike. It's a northern. It's all right. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Oh, I don't know why my heart's beating so fast, but it is. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. We're going to put that one back. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Burp. As long as he's all right. <laughs> nice job, oh, buddy. That's a great fish. Heck of a good fight on that pole, too. Ultralight poles are the best. Just came right out. See that? Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. I'm freaking shaking. I thought I had at first uh, I thought I saw a like crappie or something. I thought I had a 17 inch crappie, 34 inch walleye, I don't know. I was going nuts. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice fish, man. Awesome. We've already got a, a, a northern on the ice. It's a little bigger than this one. This one should grow up. So this is gonna, nice though. Yeah, we'll put him back though. He's not a snake at any means, but Yeah, he's not a tiny one. Hey. Let's slow it down. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was so awesome. Did. Good job, buddy. Out here running and gunning and forgetting to turn on my turn on my camera, but I caught a nice little fish here that I'm gonna throw over by the uh over by the shack and get right back on it. Pretty fun. It's not a bad way to fish, that's for sure. I did, of course I of course did not have it freaking going heavy be very gentle with it okay oh yeah that's a big crappie dude that's a huge one that's a huge crappie get him get him get him oh, oh my god oh, oh my god Brent. oh my god Brent. Oh. Oh. no right here dude no oh, yes i saw it under the ice i was like oh my no. god no Careful, dude! Oh my God, <laughs> what a fish, dude! That is awesome. No, we have to get a measurement on this thing. This, gotta be my, this has got to be my PB. Elephants eat peanuts, buddy. That's this the way it is. Got to be my PB. That is a beautiful fish. Uh, one of the tip ups has a has a thing on it. Oh wow! Look that's that. got to be like a thirteen. Yeah, that's a thirteen or fourteen inch fish. That's a big one right there. Wow. Wow, nice fish, Brent. I only got like part of the All fight right. because I wasn't filming, of course. This is exactly what happened. I was here. Hold I was, up. Let's see him. I was jigging something off the bottom, and the fish was coming up. All of a sudden, a suspended mark comes out of nowhere, like rockets down from like, f like, like swims down four feet just to annihilate my thing. As it, I was trying to get to something off the bottom. Wow, huge Look fish! At the mouth on this thing, you guys. Just this is my giant. this is my personal best. This is my personal best. That's awesome. I, the That's whole time, the fish, whole time, man. I thought I was fighting a northern. I'm not even kidding. That is awesome. I thought you were fighting a walleye. I thought you lost it for a second there. Wow, That's a nice one, dude. No, I got I gotta. I'm gonna get I some pictures get of you. Well, we got a couple northerns on the ice, thanks to the nice guys over there that are hole hopping as fast as they can and they're catching them boy they're over there still reeling them in right now Brent and I have been here for a couple of days now so we're about ready to take off and uh it's been just a great time we're figuring out this lake that I usually only fish in the uh in the summer but we're getting it figured out for the for the winter time now right Brent Heck yeah. all right well we're gonna get all loaded up here we're trying to get back to the truck before it gets dark on us thanks for joining man i appreciate it and uh or woman whichever one stick around for more fish brain chain because there's going to be a lot more episodes coming and make sure that you're uh checking out my facebook reels and my tiktok these guys are over there just slamming fish in the meantime Fish Rain Chain, out. All right, so what I do with my buddy heater is I take the grill. I know some people buy a grill for their, for their buddy heater. 
I don't do that. I take the grill that's already on there and I just pop that son of a gun off. And then you take it and you run it back into this, these holes where the top came out. So you just flip it around, run it back into these holes, bang. Oh, sorry, let me do it correctly. Bang and bang. And then look, you got a pretty level, pretty solid surface right there to go ahead and cook a pop tart, heat up a Subway cookie, you know, make yourself a grilled cheese. I've heated up bagels on there. Definitely have cooked uh, um, hot dogs and better cheddars. So a little pro tip there if you didn't know that, and a lot of people do, but this is already equipped with its own grill.